This time I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I had a bunch of restaurant reviews to put together and there just wasn't a whole lot of footage for each one of them, so I'm going to do my first ever compilation of them. I'm going to be reviewing Mimo's Pizza, which is a local pizza chain. I'll be doing Burger King, and I'll be doing Culver's. I'm at Mimo's in El Dorado, Illinois. and Now, I've had their pizza before, but I've never actually eaten inside, and I'm not quite for sure what I'm going to order. I, I already know their pizza's good, but let's find out together. All right, here we are. Fan low. Oh, they provide a comb. You, normally, they don't give you combs in public restrooms. Well, um, that appears to be a urinal in a trash bag. What's this? Someone lost their temper. That cheese is really stringy. It's, it's really thick and really good. The sauce is really sweet. I almost ordered the spaghetti, but as my wife says, you can make spaghetti at home. It, also, I, I knew what the spaghetti sauce was going to taste like. It's one of those places that you just know what's going to be that sweeter kind of spaghetti sauce. Mimo's is good if you're in Southern Illinois looking for a solid pizza place. There's a reason there's uh, several locations, and that's because they're good. As far as I know, there's still several. I know there's one in El Dorado, and there's one in Norris City. My mom really likes that one, and my wife says that they've got an Alfredo dish that's really killer there that they don't offer in uh, El Dorado. Next, we're going to do Burger King. I had already did this review and put it up on YouTube, but I didn't get all the points across that I wanted to, and I cussed and kind of belittled them a little bit more than what I really should have. And I really thought to myself how the workers might take it to heart and they shouldn't. They're just following their company policy. And my complaint was on the prices and we'll get to that later. And with that said, I will post the original first part of that review now. I'm at Burger King in Harrisburg, Illinois. And today I'm going to try one of the BK melts. I'm going to, there's three different ones. There's a classic bacon, classic, and then there's a mushroom Swiss. I'm gonna try the mushroom Swiss because I love mushroom Swiss burgers. I've always said Hardee's had the best one out of anywhere, fast food or sit down, until now. No, actually, <clears throat> Nate's Bar and Grill, back whenever it was Nate's Bar and Grill in Old Shawnee Town, the bar, they have the best burgers I've ever had in my life, period. I haven't tried them since the new ownership took over. But other than that, Hardee's were the kings of the mushroom Swiss. Back around 2006, 2005, somewhere through there, the Burger King had a mushroom Swiss burger. And I can't remember if this came standard or this is how me and a friend used to order it. How they custom make, you know, had a custom made. Um, we had them with lettuce, tomato, and mayo on them. And those were good. And then I remember going to Hardee's and ordering one with all their standard ingredients, which was just mushrooms and in, in a golden mushroom soup sauce at least that's online that's how it says the you know fake one at home and swiss cheese well i, I would order it with the burger king ingredients on on top of that and it'd turn out just phenomenal well these look pretty good I'm, I'm gonna try one of these my prediction is it's going to be small the smaller patties because at burger king there's two different size patties i'm i'm predicting Something about the size of a Whopper Jr. And for $5.49, it better not be. And of course, look at this thing. I should have ordered two, but that and with that in a small drink, it was $8 and some change. I, I should have, that should have been the price of the combo. But uh, look, uh, this thing's not very big. I, it'd take it two of these at least to fill me up. The thing is with the price of this burger and a lot of these fast food items is the quality is just 
it, it just doesn't match the price. I think that should have been a three or four dollar burger. The flavor was good. In fact, it tasted similar to the Hardee's uh, mushroom Swiss burger. There's some kind of golden mushroom soup sauce. That's what the base of that sauce is or something along those lines. It tasted like it had some of that in it, which the old Burger King mushroom Swiss burger, I don't remember that at all. In fact, that's what's always made Hardy so good to me. It was a good burger. I most likely will not go back and get it but just because of the price. Or if I do, I'm going to be planning on spending some money and getting two of them. Burger King is much like these other places. They don't realize they're serving cheap food that's it, yeah, it may taste great. It's not the best for you. It's it's for people who are broke and in a hurry. Or one of the two of those things. Burger King does, however, have some pretty decent deals on their app. In fact, I may think it's better than the Hardee's Mushroom Swiss Burger. Let's continue where we left off on that video. Let's keep the food trainer rolling and we're gonna talk about Culver's now. I've only eaten at Culver's one other time and that was in Marion, Illinois. And I got the same thing that I got this time. I almost tried one of their butter burgers. I really do wanna try one, but I decided to give their fish another try. I wasn't originally gonna eat there, but circumstances led me to the Culver's in Carbondale, Illinois. I got the three piece cod dinner the cod on the first two bites was really good. In fact, I thought, damn, this is good. But after that, the flavor seems to dissipate pretty quickly. I don't know why that is, but that's how it went the first time as well. That's why I almost didn't get it. I normally don't eat fries a whole lot, but they were the good crinkle cut mom and pop shop type fries, like what White Castle has. And I really enjoy those a lot. Coleslaw was typical coleslaw, nothing fancy but good. I really like the atmosphere of Culver's. It's laid out kind of, not oddly, but uniquely. The staff at Culver's, both times I've went at both locations, seem like they're actually happy. Usually fast food workers, you can tell, are just completely miserable and with good reason. And if you're a dope fiend needing a fix, they've got that sharps container waiting for you in the bathroom. Would I go back to Culver's? Yes, I intend to because I plan to review their burgers. I've heard they're great and that's what they're known for. I'm not big into sweets, so I don't know if I'll ever try their frozen custard. That's something else they're known for. The cuts of fish were really good. I I'm normally don't get fillets that thick anywhere else at a fast food restaurant. In fact, Usually if I want cod that thick, I've got to buy it from a grocery store. As much as I love Captain D's, I got to say Culver's cuts of fish are way better. Nothing beats Captain D's flavor. Well, I guess I'm going to give you a bonus fourth review because I just remembered I did one at Wendy's the other day and I'd forgot about it until I started doing this video. So here we go. I love Mellow Yellow. It's my favorite soft drink, but I can't find the Mellow Yellow Zero anywhere in stores. Thankfully, Wendy's has it. I usually get the Dave's Triple because I like all of the vegetables on my burger, but this time I got the pretzel baconator I think that's what it's called that's it was being advertised as new basically it seems like a baconator just with their pretzel bun which to me is not that much different outside of the looks than a normal bun I mean it kind of tastes pretzely pretzely is that even a word not complaining or, or anything I just don't it's just kind of a silly marketing gimmick to me I'd only ever had a baconator one other time and from what I remember, I got the triple and I couldn't hardly taste the mayo or whatever this special sauce is they put on it. I know they put some kind of reddish colored sauce on it. 
even getting the double this time, I could still barely taste any of that. I really wish they put more of that sauce in, in, on there. The, the mayo was decent, though. If you're just looking for meat between buns, the Baconator is the way to go. I, I just prefer the lettuce, tomato, and pickle, and onions, and all the good stuff. I'd also like to note that in the review I did at this Wendy's around the time they first opened, I made fun of their fries, calling them hot and soggy. I believe it was because the box says hot and crispy. Their their fries usually are somewhat crispy, if not very crispy most of the time. I like Wendy's fries a lot. I tend to go to this Wendy's a lot when I'm hungover. It's really good hangover fruit. It's good anyway. I, I've always really liked Wendy's a lot. I've heard a lot of people complain about it and say it sucks, but I think they're some of the best fast food burgers there are. I hope you've enjoyed my food review compilation, and I'll see you next time.